everyone, my name is Maniyasha from Dream Vision Creations. I want to thank you for joining me on my newest tutorial on how to hinge your own skull canine mask. Okay, first things first, I'll go over all the materials and the tools you'll need to do this build. First, you'll need one of our upper and our lower canine skull pieces you buy from the DVC web store. You will also need our V-hinge kit, which comes with four hinges, two springs, two lock nuts, two screws, and four washers. Since the skull has a very large jaw on it, you will actually need to buy an additional set of two extension springs, which are also available in our store. You'll need a two-part epoxy glue. Uh, we highly recommend using the Smooth On Super Instant Epoxy Glue. It comes in two parts and comes in a big yellow box with the tongue compressor six so you'll need for mixing the glue together. Since it is a two part, it's a chemical reaction. So once you mix two parts together, it will start the curing process. It'll heat up and then become a hard glue. You'll also need something to mix the glue on that you don't care about. It could either be a piece of cardboard, aluminum, um, thick paper, just whatever you have laying around um, that you don't mind throwing away afterwards because I mean, once you get glue on this, it's going to be yucky. Then you'll need four of the clamps. Um, you can do either a, a release clamp like this one here, a tension release, or you can do a regular just pressure clamp. Either one's fine, just need four of them. You'll need a Dremel or a drill. Um, the only major requirement is that you have a 1 8 size drill bit for your Dremel or drill. You'll need a box cutter or exacto knife to scratch with the plastic so the glue's got something to hold on to. A rivet gun. You can get one of these from Home Depot, Lowe's, or really any hardware store. They're very cheap. They're only like $20. And again, if you plan to do this resin blank stuff more in the future, I do recommend investing in one of these because it will be a tool that you'll need. Um, also, you need eight rivets. These are aluminum plate rivets. Either a rubber band or a piece of tape to hold the jaw together for attaching the rivets. And of course a screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. Needle nose pliers are a must because you're going to need that precision in order to be able to attach your springs to the head uh, once you drill the holes for where the springs are going to attach. Also for safety, either a pair of nitrile or latex gloves. So when you're mixing up the glue you don't have to worry about getting on your skin. And then a heavy duty set of gloves for anytime you're cutting or drilling just so again protection of your hands. Okay, first step here will be getting your skull prepped and your hinges prepped for putting them together and gluing uh, everything together. So you get your hinges out of your bag, you leave all your parts and pieces on the side for right now. Grab your X-Acto knife or box cutter. Protect your hands. This one's already been scratched up, but I just want to show you how deep you want to go with your scratches. Just kind of doing zigzaggy vertical scratches works fine. And doing that on the tabs on both sides of the head. And this one here. And then you want to do the same thing with the hinges. Now you can do this a couple different ways. You can just hold on to the hinge and then you can scratch it up. I actually prefer to put these together first. So dump out your pieces. Now you'll have to have these hinges kind of set up in opposites, so I like to kind of lay them out on the table. Like this. You'll need your screw first. And add your silver washer to your screw. One rivet. Or not rivet, um, hinge. Then your plastic washer. Then your next hinge. And then your lock nut. This is how your hinge will need to be put together. And do the same thing for the other side, but in an opposite pattern. Then I'll use my pliers and my screwdriver and I will tighten these up so they can't move. And that way it makes it a lot easier for you to glue them together and scratch up the plastic without worrying about it slipping. And 
You see it's really strong now. Just open those two up. And since I now know when, what part is inside and the outside, it makes it a lot easier for me to scratch the plastic. You always want the head of the screw pointing towards the inside of the skull where your head's going to be, and the washer or lock nut pointing outwards, away from you. So I already have a cutting mat here, so I can actually just cut directly on the mat. And again, just doing crisscross scratches, just to give something for that glue to bite into. you put your skull head together, upper lower, and use your rubber band or tape. I prefer rubber bands because you only need something of light pressure just to kind of keep it in place. Just like that. Now this glue, I will make a mention, that it is very stinky. If you plan to glue multiple things, I recommend doing it in a well-ventilated room or wear a respirator, uh, especially rated for gases. I am in a relatively large room right now, so... So basically what I do for this one, I do the A part first and I create a little inch-long slug. We have a very short time period to work with this, especially if you're using the smooth on glue. So just keep in mind that once you get this mixed up and it starts turning clear, you need to start using it pretty quick. You'll notice it gets, it gets foggy first, and then it starts to clear up. Already it's getting clear. So it's been thoroughly mixed. And now I'm going to put some on the hinge. If you plan just to use glue, I recommend using more glue on these hinges. But since this is just to hold it in place for me to add the rivets, I don't need much more than a dime size plot of glue on each hinge. Also, since this glue is a chemical based glue, the more you have in one pile, like a big you know, mountain of glue, the faster it's going to cure than when you spread it out or divide it into smaller amounts. And give the glue, if it's the smooth on formula, five minutes to cure or however long you need for the glue to cure. You can keep kind of like poking at little drips on the side until it is done. Well, glue is nice and cured now. It's hard to the touch. So the rivets, I usually put two rivets per hinge attachment. See that? And for the springs, I have to actually measure out where I want them to go. So I want a hole up here. 
So you're gonna have two connecting in one point and then they spread out connecting two separate points. I've one here and I'm gonna have one there. So you're gonna have a rivet here and a here, and another rivet here and here, and there's two little holes, one right there and there, and then one hole here for the spring. And do the same thing on the other side. Then you're gonna use your Dremel tool or your drill to actually drill the holes. So you can start your next step with adding the rivets. Now it's time to actually attach the rivets. So you take the long part of the rivet and you put it in the hole for rivet gun. This is a little old, so I got to pull the handle to get it to actually go down all the way. Stick it in the little 1 8 inch hole that you made. Squeeze the handle. Sometimes it takes multiple squeezes until it snaps right off. Then the end of the rivet is in a trash can. Now that the rivets are installed, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the screws. And do about half a turn. Take the elastic off. And now you've got a moving jaw. You want it so the jaw falls open on its own. And the very last step is attaching the springs, which we will attach to the springs here. Just hook it in place and I give it a little squeeze. Put the other hook in. Give it a little squeeze. And then I pull the hook down here. Again, you don't know those pliers are kind of important to have for this. Put it into the hole. And do the same thing for the other one. And then let's repeat for the other side. And there you go. And now you've got a talking skull head. I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you and we do appreciate all the support. If you'd like some more information, please go to our website at DreamVisionCreationShopify.com. Thanks! Bye!